Alrighty guys, welcome to your last tutorial for this little mini series on how to create a platform game. And the last thing I want to teach you guys is actually a really important concept, especially when you're making platform games, and that's how to make an actual platform that you can jump through. So right now, if we play the game, we can see that since this land right here, or whatever you want to call it, is a solid object, that's, it has solid behavior, whenever our player tries to jump through it, he just hits his head and comes back down. However, if you ever played Sonic the Hedgehog or Super Mario Brothers, you know that sometimes there are platforms where you can jump and your player actually goes through them and lands on them. Like, uh, well, most of the platforms in uh, platform games. So let's go ahead and learn how to do that right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually select one of these. And if you right click it and hit clone object type, ob object type, there we go. We can just, uh, actually, let me put it right over here. So right now, instead of an instance of it, we have a clone of it. Now, the reason that I did this is because a clone pretty much can have different behaviors and different properties than an instance of it. So now go ahead and select your new clone. And now what we want to do is turn this from a solid to a jump through platform. So in order to do this, in your behaviors, click add and edit behavior and get rid of this solid because solid basically means like you would think a huge chunk of stuff that you would hit your head on. So delete that and it says deleting it with delete and behaviors. Yes. And the one we want to add is jump through right here. And if you look at the explanation, it says it better than I can. A solid, the platform. Well, that doesn't really make sense. A solid, the platform should be a solid platform behavior. Maybe, I don't know. It's pretty much a platform that you can jump on from the bottom. And I didn't even add it. Jump through, add. So now what you can do with this is you can actually jump through it from the bottom and land on the top of it instead of just hitting your head. And another thing is that you typically want to make these look different than just your uh, solids right here. So what I can do is I can actually set this equal to another initial frame like I know that a uh, 135 looks good and if I let's see how big's my guy right around there we'll give him a uh, let him jump on it so now let's create hold on view make sure that this baby is good to snap control give him you know some more space to work with All right, so now, as you can see, every one of these now has the, now has the behavior jump through, which means that, well, I'll show you guys right now. So unlike this one, where it's just a solid hunk of crap, we kill my snail, what we can do is we can now have a platform where we can jump on and we don't hit our head, we jump and land on it. So we can either do it from the side, and we can actually jump on solids from the side, but with this one, just like Super Mario Brothers or Sonic, how freaking awesome is that? And actually, let me see if I can do something cool real quick. I'll leave that right there. And I'll put that right there. Put this right here. And now let me run this. And see a snail. Okay, jump on that, jump on that, jump on that, and kill my snail with a mega death drop. So how awesome is that? This game is actually, hmm, that was actually kind of fun, believe it or not. So uh, that is how you make a very simple platform game. And remember, if you watch my other tutorial series, you guys are going to know how to make a heads-up display. Like, it shows you how many coins you collected, how many enemies you killed, maybe. Give your uh, guy some health. I also tell you guys how to, like, take your health away if you want to. So, uh, yeah, I mean, thank you for watching. And uh, I, like I said, in the last video, I said I'm not going to promise that I'm going to make another series, but I really hope that I can. And uh, if you have any questions at all, check out my website, buckysroom.org slash forum. And, uh, well, that's it. I'm glad you guys stuck with me and I'll uh, learn how to make games. And hopefully, I'll be seeing you guys in the future. Have a good one.